Hello guys, Mike here with 2 and 0 Scrapping and today we're going to be scrapping this uh, monitor here. This is one of those older ones with the tube. So we're just going to go ahead and scrap it. I left it outside in the rain on accident. It was in the back of my truck. I forgot about it. So we're just going to scrap it. Basically, you just like anything else, with taking out all the screws and this one there's there's gonna be let's see let's see if I can fix this all right there's gonna be some screws here on the front there's different types of monitors like this one here um, some the screws here are kind of hidden behind the plastic so you just pop that off with the screwdriver. All right, so just gonna go ahead and start taking the screws, screws off to get the cover off. We might have to take off this, uh, I guess the stand part of it. Just get a screwdriver. Plastic. Give me some screws right here, right here. Should get in there. There we go. Take off the power cord. And you can reuse these for other monitors. They're all the same cords. Um, Alright, so just give it a little, a little pull here and just pop that out. And just pull the cord through. Alright All right, guys, so as you can see it's uh, pretty much the same thing as a CRT television. You got your yoke, flyback transformer in here. You got the tube connection here for the voltage, and then you got the board, of course, and then the Gaussian cable here. Uh, so I'm going to start off by discharging it. Basically, all you do is just get a wire. I think I showed you guys how to do this on uh, the CRT television I scrapped. You just well, you get a screwdriver and then just connect it to a ground somewhere, and then you just stick it under here and just rub it around, and just, that should discharge it. I always try to be careful and not touch the hole here on the tube. And you can see that right there. I try to stay away from that. I uh, accidentally touched it one time after I discharged it and it still gave me a small shock and it didn't feel too good so I just don't even bother touching anywhere around it alright so I'm gonna start off by taking this top piece off and you gotta disconnect some wires down here going to clip them. This one has some straps on it or something. Alright, so that should come out right off. I'm just going to start cutting some of this wires. Get rid of all this crowdedness in here. So I'm cutting all the insulator wires on this tin coated um, wire that runs along 
the tube. That's going to be number two copper. So I'll just go ahead and start taking that off. Alright, so looks like we got all the wiring in place. Yeah, the board should just come right out like that. And just keep cutting wires. Disconnect this from the board. Like that. Just trying to get all the wires and the board off. So there's the board. Now we just have the yoke left to take off. And now it's going to have two clamps, one on top and then one right here towards the bottom. These are usually going to be Phillips. And these uh, clamps here and the screw, sometimes they're stainless steel. So you always want to make sure you test those to make sure. See, so this one's going to be some kind of steel. <laughs> the screw is, but the clamp doesn't stick. So that's the stainless steel clamp right there. So we have two clamps in that screw that are stainless steel. So now all you want to do is just pull that mess of plastic off. And then, let's see, you can see, oh yeah, the yokes, they're going to have this plastic thing right here on the bottom, so it holds it in place, you just want to pull those, pull those out, or just loosen them up from the bottom, see that one came off, and there's going to be four, just go all the way around, and that should loosen up the yoke. Pull right out. There you go. You don't have to make a mess by breaking the tube and doing all that craziness. Alright, so I'm going to put the cover back on now. Alright, for the yoke itself, I'm going to leave this as is and I'll make another video on how to take this apart. I think I showed you guys how to do that on the CRT television as well, how to take these apart. It's pretty easy. Alright, guys, so we're going to start on the board now. And here, uh, I'm going to start off by uh, clipping all the uh, wires off. Oh, got that down. Take this, take the cord off for the, uh, the video. Screw there. I'll just take that off and then pull that and then uh, we're gonna start off just cutting all the wires we see or the ones that we can't clip and then the other ones they should just pop right out with the connections see how get that Use this with our plain board here with no wires. Okay. Finish this piece here. Pull the ones you can. And then clip the ones you can't pull. Here's just going to be a low grade board. And this piece right here would be aluminum. I'll just take that. And this I'm just going to throw it with my tin. I, I'm going to take off these these IC chips here and there's one more in there but other than that there's really nothing in there now there's a aluminum heat sink right there it looks like aluminum but yeah so I'll just open this up real quick test this real quick aluminum so just get some pliers get that off and that's about it um, we can take off the chips alright so on this cable here 
Um, that doesn't look like it's gold plated. Nope. So I'm just going to leave that on there. And let's put the, the boxing cable. See if it's number one copper. Well, it's going to be number two stripped copper wire since it has that adhesive on it. Uh, free up this little one here that's tin coated. Now you can throw with your number two. Alright, let's. This one you can just cut that, get this Ferris thing off, and then the rest of this. Uh, the gossip cable. I usually like to cut it right here where the fat piece is at. Now it's going to be copper. So we'll keep that to strip later. Throw it in the bucket with all the stripping wire in it. Alright, and for the rest of the wire, this is all going to be number two. Coat it. So, back to the board again. Right, we're going to have this flyback transformer here, this aluminum heat sink, and then we're going to have some more aluminum heat sinks right here. And then we're going to have some inductors, some transformers. Just clean up the board. I mean, the board. What am I talking about? Just clean up the heat sink here. Take all the ferrous material off, like that, and a clean piece, and these just take off the screws, and like this one, and you're going to have these Lighters, I don't know what they're called, but it slides into the heat sink. And to get those off, you just grab it with some pliers, and then you just pull back, and it should just peel right off. This type of heat sink, they'll pay you a higher price because this is a higher grade of aluminum. Move on to the other one. All right, so for this flyback, I'm just gonna cut it off. Break it off, that's it. And then you can throw that with your uh, copper bearing electric motors. There's that. Um, there's also this little black box here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. This one here. You're going to want to take those off. Those contain switches that have silver tips on them. take that off. Alright, so I'm going to show you the silver tips here. See those right there, the little two tips. Those are silver and then there's some other ones here. So it's a good idea to save these little black boxes up. And they do add up. And you just clip those little ends off and you can recover the silver with the AP solution. Alright, so, yeah, there's pretty much nothing left on this board. Um, my scrapyard pays four cents, like I've pretty much said on all my videos. So, to me, it's not even worth keeping this. It's too bulky. And by the time I get any amount, that would be worth me taking the scrap yard. I'll probably have to fill up my garage. Now we'll take this connection here. These are brass. And this connection's in there. Anyways, uh, yeah. So this, I'm just gonna take this IC chip off here. Little one, I'm broke. 
Oops, okay. Just took the other piece off. Alright. So, there's pretty much nothing left on here. So we're going to throw this in the bucket. Alright, so where I took the heat sinks off, there's going to be these transistors. Here, they look like these squares with this hole on the top. You can take those off too. I've never processed any of these, but I'm pretty sure they have some kind of material inside that is worth keeping them. As you can see, we got a few transistors. Some IC chips. There's another transistor there. Some copper bearing material here. You can further process and get the copper out of the flyback transformer. Some high grade aluminum here from the heat sinks. And this is just some regular aluminum here with the other with the other heat sinks there. Um, I'll be making the other video for the uh, what's it for the yoke after this one. So if you like to know how to take these apart without making a mess, um, just watch the next video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget about the 100 sub giveaway and I'll see you on the next video.